Hi and welcome to On The Tyne. You're watching Tyne Bites and my name is Matt. So in the last video we looked at the history of the Walker Yard and some of the ships which had been built there. If you haven't seen the video it's linked in the description below. So in today's video you'll hear a story from the Walker Naval Yard. Let's get right into it. So shipbuilding was a tough job. Ships were built in open air shipyards throughout the year, even in winter. And shipbuilding was loud and dangerous, and there was a lot of noise from all the tools and machines at work. So you had shipwrights who had overall control of the construction of the ship, but they were not the only trade involved in their construction. Other trades involved in the construction of the ships were joiners, engineers, boiler makers, and ship caulkers who finished the process of making new hulls and decks tight and leak free. Now their job was one that required skill but a fairly simple arsenal of tools and this job was quite dangerous to the fact that the workers were working on the side of the hull and back in the day there was no health and safety. So let's go back in time to 1913 and have a look at an article that was posted in the Newcastle Daily Journal, Saturday, November 13th. Fatality at the Walker Naval Yard. Mr. Alfred Appleby, city coroner, held an inquest in Newcastle last night respecting the death of Elijah Thompson, 42 years old. A corker of 53 North Street, Milburn Place, North Shields, whose death took place on Wednesday morning last. William Smith Hall, a shipwright employed at the Walker Naval Equipment Yard of Messrs Armstrong and Whitworth and Co Limited, said he had known Thompson as a fellow workman for the past few weeks. On this day in question, he was on a ship in the course of construction and was working on a staging to reach which he had to cross a plank 11 inches wide. This plank was 12 feet from the ground. The man's body was later found lying immediately under where he had been working. He was lying face downwards with his head in a hole in the ground. When the accident happened there was between 6 foot and 7 foot of water and the body had been submerged until the tide receded. The jury returned a verdict to the effect that Thompson fell into the water while in an analeptic fit and was drowned. So a pretty dangerous job. William Smith Hall only knew this man for a few weeks so it could have been that Elijah Thompson had only been working at the yard for a few weeks although he may have come from another project. Men used to line up in huge queues to get work as times were really hard back then. And looking at this image you can see men lining up looking for work which was being advertised at the Walker Yard. I always like making videos like these as telling someone's story who may have been forgotten the history brings them back and immortalises them into a video. It's an interesting thought. How many people's amazing stories have been lost to time. Let me know what you think in the comments and I hope you have a great day.